This tree, as you can see, is Carolina hemlock. And here's what I want you to, just like we do European beach and American beach, we say everything on the American beach and the European beach are the same, except well, everything's the same on these two species, except the following. Okay, you ready? So I'm not going to go over all the gory details. I'm going to say, how do you tell them apart? You get it's a hemlock, and then you look for these traits. Okay, eastern hemlock, notice how the foliage all comes out rather flat, relatively flat. Now, if you stare at it long enough, you'll be like, oh, there's some sticking up, you know. But it roughly lays flat, right? Two sides, you can flop it, get it on the other side. This, on Carolina, they come out in all directions. I like to describe it as the hair on the tail of a scared cat. <laughs> <laughs> all directions right now don't sit here's what you do you're going oh they're sticking up slightly up in Carolina you know assume it's eastern hemlock it's way more common okay until you can prove definitively no it's Carolina so they all come out in directional second notice how these taper See that? Longer here, shorter here. Not much tapering. Right? Probably longer overall because there's no tapering. So these get really short here at the end. I mean, these, again, if you sit there and go, that one's a little bit shorter than that one. Gross features here. Are these tapering? No. Is that tapering? Yes, they're tapering. Like you trimmed them with a scissor, right? That's another difference. Here is Eastern Hemlock, the cute little egg-shaped cone. Eastern oh, Hemlock. Hello. Here is Carolina Hemlock. Not so cute. They look, it almost, they, one, they're bigger, and it almost, these cones almost look like if you took one of these and just tore it all open. You kind of get that. Yeah. yeah, they're all bent and torn down. And these are all nicely you know, arranged. They will come. They, they, some, uh, some people have said these look more like a little carved wooden flower. You ever see a craftsman take a stick and carve a flower, carve petals down it, and they curl back or something? Kind of like has that kind of look. That's how I spot them. I'll be hiking, like up to Dragon's too. I'll be hiking, and I'm like, oh, there's, there's hemlock, body dog, lots of hemlock. And then all of a sudden I'll say, oh, there's a Carolina here somewhere. Which one's the Carolina? And you look a little closer and you find them. Because I'll find these laying on the ground. They, they do also occur at higher elevation. Now, not uh, red spruce high elevation, but as you hike up to Dragon's Tooth, which isn't all that high, you know, so I don't even know if it makes 3,000, but about halfway up you start seeing Carolina. Down at the bottom it's all eastern hemlock. So it's higher elevation in the southern Appalachians, and it's the only place it's found. All the other stuff's the same. From a di they're just going to look like a hemlock. So you're getting a little closer and look at the cones and look at that foliar. Uh, different. They get they get clobbered by the adelgid as well. Yeah, they absolutely get devastated by it, so they can disappear. Okay, so that's native uh, Carolina. It's native in Car North Carolina, Tennessee, all up a high elevation in Virginia. It's it's all through uh, those parts of the southern Appalachians.